The halo has slipped for St. Gary. No, not Lineker this time, but another football icon, ex-Manchester United fullback Gary Neville. Keir Starmer's best friend, a man who champions workers' rights and equality for women. How unfortunate, therefore, that he should sign a reported six-figure World Cup commentary deal with Be In Sports. Now, who are Be In Sports? And it's not a shoe shop that sells Nike trainers. It's the state-owned channel of the Qatari government, a government which presides over rules in which being gay is a crime punishable by up to three years in prison, and one which has a male guardianship system in which women are dependent on men for permission to marry, travel, pursue higher education and access reproductive health care. The brilliant Ian Hislop tore this ex-footballer a new backside on Have I Got News For You last night. Take a listen, it's gold. Either highlight the issues and challenges in these countries and speak about them, or you basically don't say anything, you stay back home and don't go. And I've always said we should challenge them. There's another option, you stay at home and highlight the abuses. You don't have to go and take the Qataris' money. Yeah. Ouch. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. This is the exact same eye-watering hypocrisy as we've seen from the ultra-woke Gary Lineker, who considers himself to be politically to the left whilst battling with HMRC to reduce his tax bill. Then there's the rainbow flag-wearing David Beckham, who has received millions to be the face of the World Cup and its hosts, the wretched and medieval Qatari regime. Nice work if you can get it. Neville and Beckham are as bad as each other, as they demonstrated in a recent so-called documentary in which Gary Neville interviewed David Beckham about his new role as the face of the World Cup, without once mentioning the issue of women's rights, the treatment of gay people, or the appalling conditions in which those stadia were built, causing multiple injuries and the reported loss of 5,000 lives. Neville has said he will continue to campaign on those issues, and to be fair, he absolutely has done so in the past. But as Hislop says, the best thing he could do is boycott the World Cup and make a statement. Instead, he takes money from this despicable regime. Football is one of the most hypocritical industries out there, and the likes of Neville are its worst proponents. This is an own goal for the woke Gary Neville, this multimillionaire socialist loves to wave the red flag, but it's time someone showed him the red card.